It is March 2020 and the whole world is talking about this new coronavirus. Uh, now, the World Health Organization, they first learned about it from the outbreak in China in January. But one source uh, warned about it already in December. And this one source was uh, not an epidemiologist or a physician. Um, this December warning um, of a new virus came from an AI named Blue Dot. So that's today's topic, smart machines. After the SARS epidemic 17 years ago, an infectious disease specialist in Toronto, Kamran Khan, started to work on his mission to find a better way to track diseases. And in 2014, he founded a company called Blue Dot. And today, it looks like their disease surveillance analytics program is working. So this machine uses natural language processing and machine learning to read news reports in 65 languages. And then it adds on reports of animal disease outbreaks. Plus, it also reads um, airline data to predict where infected patients might end up. And, and one of the successful predictions of Blue Dot was the location of the Zika outbreak in South Florida in 2016. And now it seems like this smart machine did it again by uh, sounding the alarm bell here on December 31st, 2019. And also predicting that this virus would jump from Wuhan to Bangkok, Seoul, Taipei, Tokyo, and others. I'm in Colorado today, and here in the US, just like in many countries, truth from public health officials uh, seems to be a problem. So maybe an AI-driven epidemiologist is what we need, not only for, for faster information, but also for trustworthy and accurate information. Uh, up until now, we have been talking about artificial intelligence uh, but honestly, it's been more of a buzzword. Most people would probably have a hard time to give a concrete example of what it really is. Maybe they would mention Siri or Alexa, and that's about it. I believe this will change, and 2020 will mark the start of the AI revolution. This is the year where we will hear about uh, autonomous cars and ships and things like that, not only as experiments anymore, but out in the open, up and running. And maybe we shouldn't refer to it as artificial intelligence, uh, maybe it's easier to understand what's going on if we talk about machine learning. Machines that not only do what the programmer tell them to do, but actually learn um, by themselves and thereby they get better over time. So much faster, much more accurate. It's quite easy to see that uh, the change ahead of us is much more turbulent than the change we have been through. So what do you think about this? Uh, what's your thoughts on uh, machines smarter than uh, human beings. Uh, see any new problems or opportunities? Please share them in the comment section and interact down below. And if you want more, make sure to subscribe. And wash your hands and don't pick your nose. Uh, even simple biological intelligence should know that by now. See you in the future.